Hey developers, this is Marco Ruda. Today I'm going to show how to work with different ROS2 client libraries and also how to work with ROS with a different programming language. As usual, I'm going to use the Construct platform. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free just following up the sign up link and start using it for free. So you can have a copy of the project I prepared for this demonstration. Press the run button and you're going to have the project ready in a few seconds to start working. Basically ROS client libraries are the libraries provided in different programming languages uh, that makes available for you uh, ROS interfaces. Okay, so uh, let me reopen my Jupyter notebook. The most common used are the libraries for C++ and Python. But in this example, I want to show you how to work with Node.js because uh, ROS uh, has the official ones which are maintained by the ROS core team for C++ and Python, but there are also other libraries uh, maintained by the community for Java and Android, for example, Object-C, C Sharp, Swift, Rust, and among others. So in this case, I want to show how to work with Node.js. So we have an, uh, a working example, but I want to do it from the scratch so we can do it together. We don't, uh, we don't need to use a CLI for this demonstration, any kind of CLI. Uh, so because of this, uh, I'm going to start creating a Node.js package. And in order to do so, it's important that we are working with the same ROS version. So before anything else, uh, follow up this link here and install the ROS, uh, the Node version manager. So you have basically to copy and paste those two uh, scripts here and then do an export of those variables and you can also paste this into your bashrc file in order to have the uh, node version manager available in your CLI which is basically uh, these commands here okay just after installing the NVM uh, install the version 14 of node and also make sure you're using it. So node version manager use v14, then nvm ls. Uh, you must have something similar to this. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, my node.js ros. Then get into this folder and start creating uh, an, a node.js package which goes like this npm init then you have to answer uh, some questions there which uh, are basically uh, some description of the package the name the version among others uh, it's not important right now so you can just press enter for all of them until you get it ready uh, then we have here my node.js ros let me close the files that i have here except this one which is a uh, an example of uh, publisher in C++. And our Node.js package has just a single file, which is the package.json file. This file is responsible to, uh, to save dependencies, some other information about, the, about our package, and also some of the scripts that we may have available to run there from the package command. Uh, but in this case, uh, we're not going to use it so far. Uh, then just come back, go uh, to the CLI and let's start installing the dependencies. So the, the only dependency we're going to use uh, is the ROS client library for Node.js. So we can copy and paste here and it's going to download all the libraries in JavaScript responsible for uh, implementing the ROS communication behavior for JavaScript. And there is an interesting part which is uh, generating all the messages that we have available in our ROS environment, it's going to create the, uh, the definitions in JavaScript. So if you go to the no modules folder, you're going to see 
the dependency folder here, which is uh, RCL Node.js, there's a folder called Generated. And all the messages that we have available in ROS environment are going to be here. Okay, so uh, you can uh, check after the installation. And actually, you're going to recognize most of those packages because they are common package that we use to work with in ROS. Okay, so basically, we have uh, their definitions in type and JavaScript because we have installed the dependencies here. Okay, great. So now we can create a new file. I'm going to call it index.js inside our node package. And we can start programming. So uh, just some old stuff. And how do we start a node in ROS? In C++, for example, we start importing the ROS client library. And it's very similar in Node.js. So we import it like this. And the good news is that Node.js has also auto completion in our ID. So you can see everything that is available in this Rust client library uh, for Node.js. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to define a new function, main function, like this. And then we need to initialize our ROS communication. So like we do in C++, for example, we are initializing like this. We also need to initialize here. And then in Node.js, this uh, it returns a promise, which means that we need to go to the callback of this function, which is actually uh, the resolver of the function. And then we start programming from here. Okay. Uh, if we have any errors in the meantime, we want also to display what is going wrong. So let's put a catch there. And inside the the premise resolver, uh, we can start creating our node. So as you can see, we have here this line of code that is defining the node name, which is also very similar in C++, where we are creating the node. So uh, const node equals to RCL node.js node. And this is a new node. Then I, the parameter is the name of the node. So I'm going to call it, uh, let's put it node.js ross node. Just after that, I want to create a publisher. So node, you can see all the methods available there. So create publisher. Uh, the type of the message, and we also have auto completion for this. Even though it's a string, you're going to see all the messages available there. And in this case, I want to use standard messages string, for example. And the topic name is going to be uh, node.js topic. And finally, I want to define a timer. So I want to publish this message every 500 milliseconds, for example. So const timer equals to node create timer. Then we must put the period of the timer and the callback function. And inside the callback function, I want to increment my counter, the one that I have just created here before the timer it, then I'm going to define the message we're going to publish. So hello there. And the number of the counter we have, then publisher dot publish message. Then we must spin. So like we have in C++, we need to tell uh, this node that we don't want to do anything else but the program must not finish here because we have a timer that is going to be called uh, twice per second. And then we need to be here waiting for this. And it goes like this, is pin, and then the node, we need to put it there. And finally, uh, whenever the program finishes, we need to 
catch this event and terminate all the things that we have started. So for example, we need to cancel the timer, otherwise it's gonna try to publish and point to an object that is not gonna exist anymore. We also need to destroy the node, shut down the ROS communication that we have established before. And finally, we can exit successfully. And yeah, basically that's it. Then we need to call this function, this main function, of course. And let's try it. Let's see uh, if we have achieved it successfully. So I want to run my index.js file and we just run like this node index.js and publisher is not defined. Okay, I may have missed something here. Okay, I need to create a variable, call it publisher. Okay, save the file, try to run it again. And in another terminal, let's see what we have there. So uh, ROS to node list, and I have my Node.js ROS node, and I also uh, must have my topic. There it is, Node.js topic. So let's try to echo the messages coming to this topic. And here they are. So as you can see, uh, we can use ROS uh, client libraries, and in this case, I'm showing how you can do the same uh, with Node.js. So that's it for today. Uh, don't forget, if you want to learn everything about ROS, uh, don't forget to check our online academy where you're gonna find online practical ROS courses. So everything ROS is here. That's it for today. Uh, see you in the next video, bye.